Hello everyone, welcome to A plus BI. This channel is all about complex numbers and in this video we're going to be solving a system of equations with complex numbers. Now I'll be presenting three methods even though there's a fourth way to do it. I'll briefly mention that. All right, let's start with the first one. So for my first method, I'd like to use substitution. Let's go ahead and isolate z from the first equation. The first equation I considered to be the top one. So z can be written as 8 minus 7i minus 2w. And then I'm going to substitute that here. And that gives us 2 times 8 minus 7i minus 2w plus w equals 7 minus 2i. Let's simplify this. 2 times 8 is 16 minus 14i minus 4w plus 1w equals 7 minus 2i. We kind of have two complex numbers equal to each other, but let's go ahead and uh, we're not going to do real parts uh, versus imaginary parts because w is not a real number. So we can't really distinguish between the real and imaginary parts unless we do something which we're going to talk about later. Anyways, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to add these up. That's going to give us negative 3w plus 16 minus 14i equals 7 minus 2i. And then I'm going to go ahead and subtract 16 and add 14i so that I can isolate negative 3w. Let's do it. Negative 3w from here is going to be negative 9 plus 12i. And then since I'm trying to find z and w, I'm, I'll divide both sides by negative 3. Let's do it. 3 is going to cancel out. I'm in negative 3. And this gives us 3 minus 4i for w. Now, you want to find z from here. We have a formula. Let's go ahead and plug in the value we found. z equals 8 minus 7i minus w, which is 3 minus 4i. And this can be written as 8 minus 7i minus 3 plus 4i. And from here, z becomes 5 minus 3i. Okay? Is that right? Okay, we forgot to multiply by 2. Yes, yes. Okay, we got to multiply by 2 here. So there's a 2, which is obviously going to change things around here. So that's going to be 8 minus 7i minus 6 plus 8i. And then if you add 8 minus 6, that's going to give you a 2 plus i. So that's, this is the z, this is the w, this is the z. So we solved the system. Good job. Let's go ahead and talk about the second method. Second method uses elimination. So how does elimination work? z plus 2w equals 8 minus 7i and 2z or not 2z plus w equals 7 minus 2i. So I want to get rid of one of the variables. It doesn't matter which one, but I pick w. So let's go ahead and multiply the second equation by negative 2. That gives us negative 4z minus 2w equals negative 14 plus 4. I just want to say something here. When I was in high school, when we were solving systems of equations, I always forgot to multiply by the constant. Like when you distribute the negative 2 here, I wouldn't. And then I would get it wrong, and I'm like, what is going on here? Anyways, just wanted to share with you a little anecdote. And this is my new system after the changes, and W is going to cancel out. Negative 3z gives us negative 6 minus 3i. If you divide by negative 3, z equals 2 plus i. And then, of course, if you want to find w from here, you can just plug it in to one of the equations. It doesn't matter which one. Let's use the top one. z is 2 plus i plus 2w is 8 minus 7i. And then I'm going to subtract 2 plus i, 2w, 6 minus 8i, and then divide by 2, and you're going to get w as 3 minus 4i. All right? There's some type of relationship between these two numbers, by the way, but we don't have to talk about that right now. Okay, that's a different story. So now this brings us to the end of the second method, not to the end of the video yet, so bear with me. Now we're going to talk about the third method, and I'll quickly outline the fourth method. Okay. The third method is not a general method. That's why it's the third method. I didn't want to do it first. I wanted to do like a more general cases, which can be applied to a variety of problems. This one comes up sometimes, if that's the case. Notice that the coefficients of z and w 
uh, are switched. One, two, and then two, one. In this case, you can do something like this. You can go ahead and add these equations. That's going to give you 3z plus 3w equals 15 minus 9i. And then you can divide both sides by 3 to get z plus w equals 5 minus 3i. So what? I just got another equation. Why? Uh, here's the thing. Take the first equation and then write it as z plus w plus w. And then you'll see what I mean, hopefully. Now, z plus w is 5 minus 3i. If I substitute that, I get 5 minus 3i plus w equals 8 minus 7i. And then, of course, you can subtract 5 minus 3i, and w will be 3 minus 4i. Make sense? Does that look familiar? Okay, great. So that is the value of w, and this method, like I said earlier, only applies to special equations where we have the switch around of coefficients so that when we add, we get a multiple of z plus w. Okay, and with more than two variables, obviously, this may work. Now, we got this. That gave me an idea for another video. I guess we're going to do another problem with three variables. Okay, not necessarily linear, but anyways, those problems are coming up. You'll see. I have a huge variety of problems that I already made up, lined up, waiting for um, recording. Okay, so this is W. How do you find Z? Well, we know that their sum is 5 minus 3i, so we can just make it up. I mean, adjust it so that their sum is 5 minus 3i. So Z from here is just going to be 2 plus i. All right, so those are the W and Z values, and that brings us to the end of the third method. Let's quickly talk about fourth method. I know it's been a long video. Bear with me while I quickly sketch the idea. Okay? So we have a system Z plus 2W equals 8 minus 7I. And fourth method, by the way, does not actually deserve to be the fourth method. Maybe it should be the first because that's what complex numbers is all about. This channel is all about complex numbers. And this method is all about complex numbers. So they're the same. Anyways, hopefully you get the idea. I didn't get it. So how do you solve it? Well, a complex number can be written as what? X plus YI. Now let's look at the channel's name. A plus BI. Yes, that's a better one. So let's write Z as A plus BI and W as C plus DI using the alphabet, right? Okay, so what do you do next? Substitute. Plug this in here and here and so on and so forth everywhere. And then what happens is you get a system of equations with reals. Obviously, this is longer and not always recommended, but it's a method. So what can I do, right? I just wanted to introduce to you. Hopefully, you'll like it. Anyways, so after this, you're going to get real parts uh, equals real parts and imaginary parts equal imaginary parts. And you're going to find the values of A, B, C, D, which is going to give you Z and W. And this brings us to the end of this video. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you next time with another video. Until then, be safe. Take care and bye-bye.